You might not be familiar with Yuan High Tech as a manufacturer of capture cards. They're in fact the largest manufacturer of capture cards in the world, and they have over a hundred different kinds of capture cards. We're only going to talk about a few of the ones that we use with vMix, uh, the four or five live production capture cards uh, that we stock. But first, I want to tell you a little bit about Stream Capture Pro. Stream Capture Pro is a product that you can receive for free when you purchase a Yuan capture card through US broadcast distribution and its resellers, which will turn its inputs either into NDI sources or will allow you to output them to products like Zoom or Skype. So it, in effect, allows you to create sort of a SDI or HDMI to Zoom or Skype kind of router. Uh, and the same is true with NDI. So I'll go through a little bit about those, but first I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the cards. While Yuan High Tech makes many different kinds of cards, I wanna to talk to you about these five cards and why they're important and different and worth looking at. There are five cards in total. Each of them are four input cards, uh, SDI and HDMI in HD and 4K. And one of the things that you might notice right off the bat is that there's no active cooling on them. And why is that important? When you have a FPGA on a capture card, which is one of the easiest ways of, of designing a capture card, you use up a lot more power and more power equals more heat, which means you need more cooling. So the neat thing about the Yuan cards is they're built on ASICs and ASICs are a different kind of chip from an FPGA. They require you to make a lot more of them in order for it to make sense. And that is what Yuan does, is since they're the largest manufacturer of capture cards, they make their own ASICs, and these ASICs run cooler because they use less power. So the HD cards don't even have heat sinks on them, and that means that we don't need to worry about a fan getting clogged and dying and the, the, the card frying out on us. And we're not putting as much heat into the enclosure of our workstation, which is, you know, always a consideration. The 4K versions have heat sinks on them to dissipate heat a little bit more effectively because the 4K chips do put out a little bit more heat, but still it's passive cooling. The other nice thing is, is that these have stable drivers, which is not necessarily the same as all kinds of capture cards. The drivers that you would install will be the drivers that you can keep for uh, ad infinitum. So these drivers will, will run without update or change or any surprises um, for a very long time. So that makes these really ideal for live production systems in that the driver is stable, the capture card doesn't have a lot of heat output, and they're pretty cost effective. But the really cool thing here that I wanted to show is Stream Capture Pro. So this is the Streamcatcher UI. It's basically a program that runs on your computer. And I've set up a couple of NDI sources over here. And we can come in and we can give them names and tell it which uh, input it's drawing from. And we have uh, three different sources that I have plugged in. There's, they're all along the bottom here, all the different uh, inputs. Um, I've only got three with SDI inputs coming into the system. And I've configured uh, each of them to come in and then a program, which I'll show you why that's neat in a second. But first, I'll take you through what vMix sees. So now that we've punched these out as NDI sources, you can see NDI1, NDI2, and NDI3 are all showing up on my NDI network. And this is obviously a copy of vMix running on the same system, but um, it could be running on a copy of vMix anywhere, meaning that we can make a NDI ingest system out of a whole bunch of these capture cards to feed an entire network full of vMix production systems. So that's one thing that's cool is now we have a multi-capture card NDI um, creation system. So th there's our three NDIs. Uh, the other thing that's cool about Stream Capture Pro is this is Zoom. And in Zoom, we have um, our custom virtual camera. This is sort of like a, a webcam. So the output of this is what, what you're seeing on the screen here is whichever input is selected here. And that's not just for inputs, we can also make layouts. So here is a three, uh, my three cameras laid out. So we've 
not only created sort of a SDI to Zoom router, we can also use it to make it a picture in pictures or you know, a variety of different multi-view views directly into Zoom or any other program that takes um, a, a web, webcam as an input. Between the capture card's superior functionality and features at a really compelling price point and obviously supported by US broadcast here in the States and the StreamCatcher Pro functionality, giving you that NDI capture slash webcam functionality uh, makes these cards a really compelling uh, addition to your live production workflow. So if you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to us here at usbroadcast.co. Once again, I'm Eric Pratt and thanks for watching.